News of the dismissal of Yao Kwaka as managing director of the Ghana Airport Company Limited came at a time he was leading members of Parliament's Select Committee on Roads and Transport on an investigative mission over the recent shutdown of the facility. When journalists informed him of the termination of his appointment, Yao Kwaka, who was visibly shocked, said he was unaware the president had directed the company's board to terminate his appointment through the transport minister. My appointment has not been terminated, so if you have a fresh if you have, please uh, give it to me. Um, I don't know about it, so we, uh, when I get it, yeah, exactly. When I get to that bridge, I'll cross it. This is the man, is the man, he has not cited any such letter. He is not aware. So, and this is not the, 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 the medium through which, even if there's a, such a letter, he'll be communicated with. Let's, let's, let's leave that matter for now. Metro News later caught up with Deputy Minister of Transport, Alassane Tampoli, who stressed that the president owes no one any explanation for dismissing Yao Kwa Kwa. Can you confirm that the CEO has indeed been dismissed? What does the letter say? It's addressed to the board chairman. Yeah, so that is how um, it's supposed to be done. Because it's a company. So it's regulated under the Companies Act. So the letter is written to the board chairman, and the board chairman will now convene a board meeting at which um, the, all the necessary steps will be undertaken pursuant to the Companies Act. So it's confirmed. But why is he being dismissed? Have you cited a copy of his appointment letter? No, please. The appointment letter doesn't say why he was appointed. I don't know why it should be stated why he has been relieved of his position. Yes, yeah, so the president has the prerogative to appoint and he has the prerogative to relieve of the people of their positions. When the president is appointing, he doesn't give reasons. And by the same parity of reason, the president doesn't give reasons when he's relieving people of their positions. So this is something that has been going on in this country, not today. So nothing has changed. Some say he has paid the ultimate price with his job for ensuring that the right thing is done. These are matters in the, in the realms of conjecture. I'm not sure that is stated in the letter. Although it is unclear what actually led to the dismissal of the MD, this decision comes days after Yao Kwaka issued a notice to Magdan Aviation to halt the inauguration of his private jet terminal over safety and security breaches. But there has also been bad blood between the MD and some workers of the company. In February 2021, some disgruntled workers laid down their tools, accusing Yao Kwa Kwa of mismanagement. In an interview, Deputy General Secretary of the Public Services Workers Union, John Ni Donu Sampa, said their past differences with the MD has nothing to do with his dismissal. The media, you have also followed some a uh, few issues between the uh, workers and also uh, the management, especially the management director. We have tried to bury our differences and we are working in the interest of the state. And so if now the president thinks that it is time for him to take a decision, uh, we will meet as workers and our official position in the matter will, will come and then everybody will get to know about it. Right, and we also understand that nine member board of the Ghana Airports Company Limited uh, met and the statements on the official Good, Good Evening Ghana page says that they have begun the process of transitioning. We'll bring in that to you uh, shortly. And uh, on your screens now, you can see there, it says that we, so we had a full day. It says GACL board meets over MD's dismissal. So we had a full day at Ghana Airports Company Limited. It began with a board meeting at 2 p.m. attended by all nine board members. That's including the MD. And we then had a meeting with the leaders of the workers union, followed by a meeting with the entire staff. We had cordial discussions at the board level and with the union leaders, as well as the entire staff. Again, it says that we have now occasioned a transition. That's the key word. We've occasioned a transition to manage all the processes. We're grateful for the cooperation of the MD and the support of all staff. The Ghana airports will grow from better to best. 
Amen. That's uh, the statement from the uh, meeting held by the board members. So transitioning has begun. It's confirmed the MD has been sacked. Reasons assigned, uh, no one knows. And like you heard the Deputy Transport Minister say, when he was appointed, no reasons was given for his appointment. Uh, of course, uh, the story, the extent, the, comp the comprehensive story did mention quite a number of reasons that could have led to his dismissal. Now, meanwhile, some members of uh, parliament from the opposition NDC say the president acted unfairly. They suspect the dismissal of Yao Kwa Kwa is linked to the suspension of the operations of, tem of the terminal belonging to Magdan. You. Your thoughts? What used to be called Ghana's airport or Ghana Civil Aviation Authority is now being given to a party functionary Magdan Aviation. And when well-meaning citizens of Ghana want to talk, the government and the president himself, he's sacking them. So this is a clear manifestation of keep quiet and suffer. So Are you reading political lines into this? The man was in parliament chairing meeting, explaining to the committee of transport in the process of the meeting, including both minority majority, then they fired his letter to him, telling him that what you are revealing, we don't want. Stop it and go. So clearly, who else in Ghana can talk? Are you also reading political meanings into the action? Of course. Of course, this is politically motivated. And I think the president had an interest in, in the deal. How so? Yeah, what, what, what is his business in uh, dismissing the, the, the CEO? What is the president's business in it? This is when you appoint somebody to take over or to take charge of somewhere, allow the person to perform. And the CEO for that is wrong. That's where he, he, he took that action. And then you, the president, is not intervening. Are you a clearing agent? Why? Why is the president doing this?